instead of clicking up here and dragging, now all I have to do is click my mouse like this anywhere on the Premiere Pro timeline. So even more minute than this is how small this tip is within Premiere Pro. But compounded over time, this tip will make you so much more of an efficient editor. The dilemma with moving the playhead within Premiere Pro with your mouse is that you have to go up here and you can click and bring the playhead to wherever you want. Or you can drag it right here. But what if you're doing something over here in the timeline and you want to move the playhead over to this part of the timeline? You have to move the mouse all the way over and drag it, or you move the mouse up and click. You may think like, that's no big deal. Like I can move the mouse up and move it. But there is a way that you can move the playhead without having to go up here and click in this area or clicking and dragging. And to do that, let's head to our keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to go to Premiere Pro, Keyboard Shortcuts or Option Command K. In the search bar, I'm going to look for Move playhead to cursor. The best thing about Premiere Pro is that you can assign more than one hotkey to a specific shortcut. That's what I'm going to do in this circumstance. I'm going to assign one to my keyboard and the other to my mouse. What I would recommend is just take one of these that are closest to your left hand and choose a letter that you don't even use all the time. Like I would probably put this on Z because I don't use the zoom tool, but maybe some of you do. So I'm just going to choose something that isn't used on my keyboard. So Alt or Option on Mac and Z. But what makes this tricky even better is if you have a mouse that has extra buttons on the side or on the top, this is where this tip really shines. And I'm going to bring up the Logitech control center for my mouse. I'm going to click it and hit configure. One quick pro tip is if you have these side buttons on your mouse, it's smart to map a horizontal scroll to those because on the timeline, you can actually scroll left to right when you're zoomed in. That's really nice. So I'm not going to use those buttons. But what I do have open is when I click this middle button inside my mouse, what I'm going to do is assign some sort of combination of hotkeys that I will never hit with the wheel button. When I click it down, I'm going to go over here, type a key and let's just say M and choose any modifier. So now I'm going to choose that all of these modifiers have to be hit. Now, whenever I click the middle wheel on my mouse, it will automatically create this key stroke. Now that that's configured, I'm going to click and add this shortcut. So all I have to do is click my middle button and boom, it adds all of those in the modifier section. So now I have two ways to do this shortcut. Option Z, which again, just make it one letter if you can. And then the clicking of my middle button, which signifies that part right here. I'm going to hit OK. And instead of clicking up here and dragging, now all I have to do is click my mouse like this anywhere on the Premiere Pro timeline. Same thing goes when I hit Alt or Option on Mac and Z. If you do find this helpful, share it with another Premiere Pro editor and I hope they find it helpful too. And till next episode, live a life of abundance. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, you know, I do Premiere Pro tutorials and talk to some cool people. I'll see you guys next time.